Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions and I am especially excited for this video because I am going to be trying out the brand new Pat McGrath foundation primer powder brush, which by the way, I didn't know that there were two brushes. If not, I would have bought both of them. I only bought one. But anyway, since there have been so many new foundations launching and I really want to review them, like for example, I just did the Urban Decay one. I am waiting for the Fenty one in the mail. I just got the Anastasia one and I want to do a wear test for the Anastasia one. Since I'm doing so many like wear testy type of videos, I thought for the Pat McGrath foundation, I would just do a full face of first impressions since it was the one that got the least amount of votes on Twitter. I asked you guys which foundation you were most excited for and I believe Fenty and Anastasia won. Urban Decay was like in the middle and then Pat McGrath was at the bottom and it's probably because <sighs> that's expensive but I am always so mesmerized and blown away by Pat McGrath her Instagram her packaging her actual formulas I she can do no wrong and yes it's super 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 duper expensive but I can't remember the last time I was disappointed by a Pat McGrath product I feel like I love everything she does so I am very excited to try out all these products <laughs> But since I know not everyone wanted to see the foundation review, I thought I would just throw in a bunch of new makeup as well. So we're going to be trying out a bunch of new stuff. Stuff I have not used yet. Everything is new. Well, except my mascara. Yeah, I, I didn't have a new mascara. Or, or concealer. Sorry. Alright, so I'm going to start off with primer. I love the packaging on all of this. I'm so excited in this video. <laughs> I love Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. So this is what it looks like. Super cute, super cute. I love the whole gold and black, the foil, the mm, delicious. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This is the product that I'm most nervous about just because it's one of those like silicone primers. It's supposed to like smooth out the skin, you know, all that good jazz. And I rarely wear primers like this. I like a super nourishing, hydrating kind of primer. So let's see. This is $60 though. This kind of feels like a hybrid, like one of those silicone primers mixed in with a hydrating one. Oh, it smells really good. I know it's probably dumb to test out a foundation with a brand new primer, but whatever. <laughs> this smells so good. What is that scent? <laughs> I feel like people think I'm kidding when I do this or like I pretend like I smell something, but I swear. Scents just trigger me, man. I have really good scent memory. Is that what it's called? All right, so this is the primer on my skin. It actually doesn't feel like I have anything on my face at all. My pores do look a lot smaller, but I find that to be the case with any silicone primer I put on. Obviously, I just put this on so I can't like prejudge it, but I don't know if this is worth $60. I just feel like there are a lot of primers at Sephora that can do the same thing for a little bit cheaper, but again, I gotta test it out. I gotta test it out. I'm just giving you my initial first impression, you know? Okay, now the moment we've been waiting for. So good. I love this packaging. Like, I love, 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 love this packaging. And, and you know what? This packaging I'm not super impressed by, but the packaging on the foundation, this is beautiful. Look at it. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. This is like Estee Lauder Double Wear meets royalty. This is such a pretty foundation bottle, and I usually don't like frosted bottles because it can be really misleading. It kind of makes the color look lighter than it actually appears on the skin, so I don't love that, but in this case, I love it. I just think it's so gorgeous, and I love this cap. It reminds me of the Kristen Louboutin makeup. I don't know how to say that fancy brand, but you know what I mean. So this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I got mine in the shade Light Medium 13 and hopefully this fits me because you know it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. This is a $68 foundation and it kind of surprised me that it's only $8 more than the primer. Like, does anybody else feel that way? I don't know. Okay, so I'm very, very, very excited to try this. You already know the drill. I'm going to use a beauty blender on one side and a brush on the other. Okay, the moment apparently only I have been waiting for. Oh, yeah. It's pretty dark. It's pretty dark for me. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. We did like um, you know, make it work. You know the jungle has its rules, and I just gotta keep it cool. And I'll be treated like a tool. So don't be acting like a, acting like a fool. They get you sobbing like a moon. Try to get everybody's cool. Okay, 
Wow, my pores look really filled in, but I have a feeling it's because of the primer. I just never use primers like that, so my pores just always look big, I guess. But this foundation looks really, really nice on my skin. It looks nice on top of that primer, at least. I would say the coverage is about medium. I think you can totally build this up, and you can definitely also get a sheer coverage if you just apply a little bit less, but it does look really healthy on the skin. Like you can tell, I didn't put on a super hydrating primer underneath, yet it still gives a nice like subtle glow to the skin. And it is like slightly tacky, but like barely. I think you can definitely go without setting it. I don't think it's tacky enough that you have to set it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see. But I think the foundation looks really good and you can see compared to the other side of my face, it does cover up quite a bit, but you can kind of see my natural skin peeking through. My skin looks nice and even. It looks a little bit makeup-y on my chin, but it's something you can only tell if you look really up close but it applied perfectly fine on my nose it doesn't look cakey or too matte or too heavy in my t-zone and sometimes more matte foundations will do that the finish on this one doesn't seem to be matte or dewy it just has a very natural finish but if I had to pick it does lean a little bit more on the luminous side but yeah I mean so far so good let's see we are going to apply it now with a sponge on the other side I am using the dose of colors sponge <laughs> Okay, so I really like how the Beauty Blender applies it actually. In fact, I think I like it better on this side. It just seems to appear a little bit more sheer and more luminous. I'm not sure if it's something you can even tell, but things are just a little bit glowier on this side and I really like how my skin looks. I like both sides honestly and the difference is so minimal, but I would say if I had to choose a way to apply this foundation from now on, it would definitely be with a, a damp sponge. And I really like it so far. Like my skin looks really, really nice. And you can see here the pimple I had where it didn't cover it completely, but I feel like if I wanted to, I could. Let me see. I mean, this foundation isn't concealer or anything, and it's not full coverage, but I feel like it covers up enough. I really like it so far. For concealer, I'm just gonna use my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Macadamia. I'm using my favorite concealer because I really wanna test out the Pat McGrath powder, and I wanna use it in combination with a concealer I know I love, instead of testing out a concealer for the first time. Do better for yourself. Do better for yourself. All right, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is what it looks like. I got mine in the shade Light One. Ooh, it has a little net type of sister. Sister. <laughs> sifter, those are my favorite. This powder seems to have like a pinky undertone. I feel like maybe I should have gone up a color, but that's fine. It smells like farts. I don't think this color is too light. This powder is pretty translucent, actually, it's perfect. This powder is super smoothing. Wow. This powder really fills in your pores. It reminds me a lot of my Thrive Cosmetics powder, which is my favorite powder, by the way. Okay, so far so good with this guy. I really, really liked it. Filled in the pores, it made my skin smooth. Hmm, oh, let's take a flash test, shall we? Nope, no flash. Sorry, it takes me a second to be able to see my face because the flash kills my eyes, but there is absolutely no white cast, no flashback with this powder or this foundation, so. Okay, so far I am pretty impressed with my face. I love the glamorous vibe. I feel like my skin looks even. In fact, I feel like I have great coverage going on right now. Do I see it sinking into my smile lines already? Yes, but do I have smile lines? Yes, so. I'm gonna apply some bronzer. I didn't have any new bronzers to share with you guys. And then I saw this one sitting on my vanity and I remembered this was also sent to me but I hadn't used it yet. So I'm gonna try it in today's video and we're keeping the expensive theme going with a Guerlain bronzer. So this is the Guerlain Terracotta Contour and Glow Palette. Let me just start off by saying this sucks. These two colors right here, these are like the highlights and the blush or something. Oh my gosh. I mean, I have no idea how much this is. This, like I said, this was sent to me, but this could definitely be more pigmented, just creamier. I was like disappointed with this. Based off of swatches, I've only swatched this palette. I haven't used it on my face. So maybe I'm prejudging, but it's so dusty. I'm gonna use these colors instead. I'm gonna go in with the middle shade. Okay, I don't know 
if it's the bronzer or if it's the foundation, but this is applying so smooth. It could be the primer. I'm having a little bit of a breakout situation on this side and I definitely think it was that Urban Decay foundation. So I have some texture going on on this side so it doesn't look as smooth as it does on this side. At least in person, it looks very, very smooth and like it was just blending so easily. But again, that could be that the bronzer is very blendable. I don't know, I'm really liking it. I don't like the way that this smells. Oh my gosh, this smells so strong. All of these terracotta bronzers always smell like this. I mean, it smells good, but I, I don't like it for my bronzer, but I do like this color a lot, the one in the middle. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color oh man I forgot to use my Pat McGrath skin feathers sublime perfection powder brush damn it this is what it looks like and this brush does feel really really soft but it reminds me of like a Too Faced brush or like an Anastasia brush it doesn't really remind me of like a luxury brush like so many of her other products do like this to me is straight luxury this is high-end but I don't see it as like luxury it doesn't feel super weighted or anything I mean again this is just me being overly picky and overly critical and I'm trying to review these things for you but in my opinion I expected this to feel a little bit more luxurious something similar to like how the Marc Jacobs brushes feel like but just pointing that out it's still a really really soft brush I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker shade I don't know why <laughs> just so that I can use another shade in this palette and I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corners here like towards my hairline. So Anastasia recently sent these loose highlighters. I don't know if they're new or if they're just new to me because I have a feeling I've seen these before. Or maybe this color is new, I'm not sure, but this one is called Vegas and it's their loose highlighter. And in my opinion, the best loose highlighters in the world come from Artist Couture. They make the best ones, but we're gonna try this. It's shimmery, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look chunky on the skin, which is nice. I definitely still prefer the Artist Couture formula. I can just tell, even though it's the first time I use it, there's something in that formula that's so finely milled and just pure perfection. This color is really, really pretty. It's a nice warm golden color. And then for blush, I'm going in with the brand new ColourPop Shortcake Pressed Powder Blush. I'm not a huge fan of pink blushes like this, but this was honestly the only blush in my collection that was brand new and that I've never used before. So we're gonna test it out. Alrighty then, this is the blush on my cheeks. I always feel like I don't look good in cool toned pinks like this. I don't know, not my favorite, not my favorite, <laughs> not my favorite color. Actually, you know what? The more that I'm looking at this Anastasia highlighter sitting on my skin, the glitterier it's getting, I feel. <laughs> like there is definitely glitter in this highlight and I don't know how I feel about it. Like five seconds ago, I really, really liked it and now I'm like, wait a minute, is it chunky for my face? Now I don't know if I like that highlight anymore. I'm so weird. I mean, you have to get really, really close to see the glitter, but I don't know. What do you guys think about my face though? Overall, what it's looking like right now. I think my skin looks really smooth and it looks really good. The only thing I'm noticing now is that it looks a little bit heavy around my mouth. Let me see if you can tell. Can you see what I mean? Like around my chin and around here. Do not look at my mustache. Oh my gosh, I have to do my mustache. In fact, I'm gonna do that as soon as I'm done recording this video. Obviously, foundation likes to cling to hair, so that is technically my fault, but just saying. Okay, so since this video is not a makeup tutorial, it's just a full face of first impressions. I'm gonna be testing out this palette for the first time, very excited. This is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream palette, and I had no idea the moon was like 3D. It's so cool. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I love that we have a mirror. Honestly, I had no idea that this palette was going to be strawberry scented. That was such a pleasant surprise. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I am so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick eye look. I just wanna get a feel of the formula, see how they blend, and yeah, let's do this.
Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. I was trying to go for a super smoky lower lash line. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Lipstick Nick on Instagram. She always does like these super smoky lower lash line where it's like blown out and it kind of like comes on your cheekbone. Those are like my favorite types of smoky eyes. I really like how that looks. So I attempted to do that today. I went extra smoky on my lower lashes and I think it looks fun. I love this like pink grungy vibe. And let me tell you, this eyeshadow in blue diamond is really, really special. I wanted to put it on my my lids as like a glitter topper because there was something about it that was so iridescent that I thought it was perfect to just put on top of this pink color. Like it's not your typical glitter shadow. It's very fine and sparkly. Like I think it's perfect to apply on top of eyeshadow if you just use your finger like with a very light hand because if you pack on this color, I mean you will get full on pigment. But if you just take a little bit and dust it on the eyes, it's also really, really beautiful. This is like the best shadow in the entire palette. Look at that. It's beautiful. I know I only used like six or seven eyeshadows in this palette, but everything blended really nicely. I really like the look I created and everything is super pigmented. And like I said earlier, I didn't have a new mascara to try out, so I just put on my NARS Climax. Also, I would highly recommend if you are going to use this blue diamond eyeshadow to do your eyes before your face, because I have blue glitter all over my face now. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> By the way, you see that smile line? Not my favorite, but it could be worse. Like this side is not so bad. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot worse by the time I finished my eyes, but no, everything is still looking pretty good. So to finish off this look, I am so excited. Carly Bible has collabed with Il Maquillage and they have, oops. She collabed with Il Maquillage and she created these beautiful lippies. You get a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, and there's three different sets, like three different colors. The combo I'm gonna use is actually Luna and Libra. By the way, I love the whole celestial vibe of this whole collection. It really gets me going, it really gets me going. Don't you be walking around so low? How you do for the forget that you're amazing. Do better for yourself. 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 Okay, so it took me a second to put on this combo because the lip liner is pretty deep, this one in the shade Luna. And so it took me a second to really blend it into the Libra lipstick, but I really, really love this lip combo. It's so grunge and 90s. You guys know I love a good cool tone brown lip. And these are the kinds of nudes that I personally feel like go with any eye color, something super warm or something super cool. I love it. Congrats, Carly, on your entire collection. It is so beautiful. The packaging is amazing and the colors are absolutely stunning. And I really like the formula of this lipstick a lot. It's like a powdery matte. It's really nice. I'm actually gonna leave my lips the way that they are. I was gonna put a gloss on top, but I really, really like this vibe at the moment. So I think I'm gonna end it here. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. This was a full face of first impressions. I would say I really liked everything I tried out today. The only thing that I was like, <laughs> was this highlight. When I was first putting it on, I was like, yes, I love it. But the more I looked at it, the more I noticed it sitting on my skin and it is a little bit glitterier than I would like. So this wasn't my favorite. And if I had to choose another item that I was not super impressed by, it would be the brush. But everything else I tested out, I really, really like. Obviously, I will wear this foundation more often and then I will give you guys an update like on Instagram stories or in another video. I would love to know in the comments below what you guys feel about this foundation. Have you tried it out? Have you tried out that brush, the powder, the primer? Let me know. Actually, wait, let me, let me set my face. Let me see how this foundation looks when I set my face because I always set my face. I don't have my fan. I mean, I do, it's over there, but I'm too lazy. What a difference setting spray makes, I swear. Oh my gosh, I love how my skin looks. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm into it. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi. Oh. Pacha, come on. You scared the shit.
out of me. My mama always told me that I made it. So I made it. Somebody was breaking into my house. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't breathe.